Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Launched in late 2018 for the 2019 model year, the first ever automatic watch from Tim and Bart Grunefeld of the Netherlands. This is the Principia 1941 Automatic. 39.5 millimeters in stainless steel. The timepiece is a svelte 10.4 millimeters thick by 46.9 millimeters lug to lug with a spacing between the lugs of 20 millimeters. We'll throw it on my wrist real quick. This is a beautifully proportioned dress watch. It's a sporty dress watch to be sure in stainless steel and being narrow across the wrist you can see down the barrel just how much clearance I have on both sides. Over the top you'll note it's coming nowhere near the edge of my wrist and it's low enough to fit underneath the cuff so it can be a dress watch. The strap is fascinating. It has a little bit of Dutch orange counter contrasting threading, and then it's blue buffalo. So it is a buffalo leather strap with a little bit of bolstering to give it some body. Sheer cut sides showing the layers of buffalo leather, and you can see on both sides a remarkably textured material that is butter soft, even though this is, of course, a brand new Grunefeld factory strap. The buckle is handsome in that it's nicely sculpted, but it also echoes the lines of the steel case properly, especially the lug profile. Rolling over to the lugs, you can see the Principia case design has a wonderful lug junction as the lugs have a handsome sculpted hollowed and relieved profile of their own structurally they're pronounced and distinguished from the case this is not a blended lug calatrava style dress watch you can even see how the fluting on the top is slightly concave and mirrored it is truly nuanced distinctive different and unique this is the kind of case that sets the watch apart from its peers. It's anything but derivative. Not only is it inventive, but it's successful on those inventive terms. The bezel is concave, and you can see that it's slightly stepped at down at 6 o'clock, as well as up at 12 o'clock, so there's a bit of a step to the bezel, so that even that doesn't seem like a, a monotonous, undifferentiated mass. There is a lovely fluted conical crown with the Grunefeld logo on it. It's a push-down crown. The watch is 30 meters water resistant. The dial, which is advertised as salmon by the Grunefeld brothers, seems more like Dutch orange to me, with a number of handsome accents, including a media blasted surface, a polished inner chaptering, blue printing, the Netherlands script, a countersunk sub-seconds, and lovely alpha-style hands at center in fired steel. There are also mirror-polished and faceted individual indices, and the dial base is 925 sterling silver so this is a precious metal dial the timepiece features a lovely polished cannon pinion amid the hands at center and you can see their center has been mirror polished no detail is overlooked with this watch front or back let's check out that back my goodness this is the sixth caliber from the Grunefeld brothers the Grunefeld 06, and it is their first automatic. It uses a 22 karat mass, not 21, not 18 karat, not tungsten, 22 karat gold, which you can see is triple finished with mirror beveling. How about that outward angle? Satin finish on its top, and then media blasted frosting within. Also note how the logo, as well as the Grunefeld name, have been relieved and polished above the media blasted base. Now, it's unidirectional winding with ceramic rotor bearings for durability and efficiency. It energizes a 56-hour power reserve. The watch is adjusted in six positions, one more than a standard chronometer, and pivots on 31 joules. For the sake of durability, you can see the balance has a full dual-anchored balance bridge, and then at center, it is a free-sprung balance with a fixed stud. All of the bridges are finished in stainless steel, and they are triple finished. Let me explain. You can see how they're media blasted in their somewhat recessed centers. They are satin finished on their edges between the centers and the bevels, and then the bevels themselves, I'll do my best to show this to effect, but the bevels themselves are mirrored in the finest tradition of traditional Otegam watchmaking, and it is a sight. The bevels are broad, drawn out and beautiful, and the fact that they're executed on steel bridges, not traditional brass, not German silver, stainless steel, speaks to the artistry of the Grunefelds, the fact that they can achieve this level of finish on material that is normally intractable to finishing tools. You will also note that the movement, which beats way at 21,600 vibrations per hour, is thoughtfully styled as the individual bridges are designed to resemble the bell gable roofs of traditional Dutch housing. There's also bevel
traveling inside the wheels. Inside the wheels, their inner circumference as well as their spokes have been beveled. If you look carefully at the wheels adjacent to the keyless works, their, their actual teeth, as well as the leaves of the pinions, have been internally mirror polished. You can't see that here, but you will with the loop when you own this watch. All screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. I've seen watches bearing the Geneva hallmark that are not as finely finished or as thoughtfully detailed as this watch. The base plate is made of brass and it is ruthenium coated. It also features an engine turned perlage on its surface. And you can see that the Grunefelds have skeletonized the full balance bridge. This is a masterclass in fine finishing and you can see the black polish surrounding the rotor bearing at center. The longer you look, the more you find and the more impressive it becomes becomes, meaning its effect is effectively the inverse of most watches, which become less impressive the closer you look. This one becomes more so. The Grunefeld Principia 1941, the first automatic from the Horological Brothers of the Netherlands. Email teamasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.